Hi, I'm Jenny. Welcome to my channel. Thanks for being here. I appreciate you spending some time with me today. We're going to try something a little different today. On Saturday, Lock and Bar and I went to Casa Grande. We did some thrifting and we found some really cool things. And I took along um, a GoPro to try to take some footage. It was my first time using a GoPro. And um, I'm going to share with you the footage is a little rough at points. Um, but it's a learning process and so we're trying something new. Uh, after the footage of thrifting, you're going to see uh, our haul so that you can see all the cool things that we brought home. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about the idea of doing some thrifting, uh, doing some upcycling. I know a couple of people had commented that they would like to see some of my upcycled clothes. So I will be working on a video to show you those in the next week or two. Uh, so let's get started. Okay, our first stop is the Salvation Army store in Casa Grande. Um, we have not been here thrifting, so this is kind of new. I'm just kind of checking out the layout here. I'm starting in the men's section because I'm looking for some things to upcycle. Everything is sorted by color, but not by size. So you pick the color section you want to look at, and then you kind of have to uh, dig through and see what size things are. So it's by solid color and pattern. Um, I'm taking a look at this first shirt because I'm thinking I could cut up the back of this, maybe put it on a flannel. It would be really cute, like the butterflies on that. Now I'm over in the ladies section and I'm looking at this. This is actually a Lucky Brand shirt, um, which is a pretty good buy for only $2 because everything is on sale. All clothing is on sale for $2 today. You can see it's got some really nice trim. So if I get it home and I don't like the way it looks on, it looks a little big. So might be you know a little little too big um, although I might be able to take it in if not though even for two dollars I can cut it up and use the lace and the fabric when I'm looking at clothing to upcycle I frequently look at things that are not my size but I'm interested in the fabric for example this little top is a, a very small top that is never going to fit me but the lace is beautiful uh, and coming up with that kind of lace for $2 uh, is not something that you see very often. Here's another one. It has one lace pattern on the front. It's got some really cute little buttons that I like. I ended up putting that placket on something else later. And a different uh, lace pattern on the back. Here's one that has a lace overlay on top of a pink tank top. This pink panel is really cute. I could see it on... Um, another shirt. I could see it cut up as patches on jeans. Um, it could also be cut apart and used in uh, art projects in your junk journal. Be really cute with lace sewn down the edge of a journal. So the thing to remember is when you come across a sale like this where everything is two dollars, you want to look at clothing that has trim that you might pay more than that for later. So even if you don't want the clothes, the trim might be worth the money like this one. So as sometimes you find a really great bargain. I found this super cute little jacket in the cranberry velvet for $2 and I was just in love with it. So that went home with me for sure. After we got finished digging through the clothes, we took a look at some of the housewares. So the first thing that caught my eye was this. The petals are glass. They look like blown glass. And then there's a metal base. Um, they were a little bit loose. I have There was no mark on the bottom, so I, I don't have any idea who the manufacturer was. Unfortunately, this had some chips in the glass, or this definitely would have come home with me today because it was really beautiful. So we're just going to kind of take a quick look through here and see what we can find. I'm always interested in any little uh, housewares kind of things we might use. thought this little painted um, plate clock was super cute. Someone just drilled a hole in a plate and, and um, put the clockwork in, which is a very easy way to upcycle a cool plate if you have a plate, um, that, especially something that belongs to, you know, a relative, you know. Uh, it's a good way to do it. This little teapot was cute. It had all those cutouts. I wasn't really sure. I think it probably was a candle holder. We're always on the lookout for tins. We're looking for tea tins. So the Maxwell House coffee tin maybe isn't uh, the best tin to buy. 
this kind of cool advertising piece though i like advertising tins i think they're a lot of fun um so it's the right color but uh coffee instead of tea and lock and bars shaking his head no it's not really what he's what he's after so we'll just leave that on the shelf as well we saw some really cool things I like tidbit servers and that's what this is but it's missing the metal piece in between there's like a little rod uh, that goes between them and a finial on top that holds them you can order those to repair something like this that was a really cute little tray uh, but I have multiple tidbit servers I thought this was cute it's a much more modern piece but it's it's pretty I like the colors I thought it was fun with the gold on it uh, and it just made me kind of want to make something of my own. Anytime you see frogs or, or kitties or anything like that, I'm going to probably take a look at those. And of course, the angels, we always have to look at that. This one is just resin, uh, but it was pretty. It was a pretty color. Here's another little tin. It's not the color we're looking for. Uh, our house used to be done in reds and golds, but it's not anymore. But that would make a great little tin to put some cookies or something and give to somebody for the holidays. It's always a good idea to pick up things like that when you see them so that you have them in your gift closet. That's always fun. You can keep them for later. Um, the red stuff always appeals to me. I love red, uh, but like I said, our house isn't red anymore, so I don't take it home, but I always look at it. So there's that really great canister, and there's another one on the bottom. Unfortunately, the one on the bottom that matches is missing its lid. Uh, oh, take a look at this bunny. Isn't that a cute little bunny? so cute um, then of course we see this little canister that is a unicorn kitty so i guess the only thing better than being a kitty or a unicorn is being a unicorn kitty um, it's a cute little canister i contemplated taking it home but it was a little more cute than than we were looking for for the tea so we decided to leave that one on the shelf but very fun anyway uh, so, and that's the fun of this. You can always find fun things like this kitty. That's pretty fun. Um, oh, look at this little piggy bank. That was cute. He was only $1.99 for this little painted piggy bank. Super cute. Oh, and then Lockenvar found this lovely Italian plate. Again, it doesn't match anything that uh, we're looking for, but uh, I think it was probably a pretty good deal. Um, it's like four dollars, so we might have taken that home, you know, if we had had a use for it. Um, I have a lot of fun. We watch uh, a lot of thrifting shows with resellers, so it's a lot of fun to identify things to see what kind of things you can find that maybe are, are worth something, even if you end up not taking them home. It's fun to look at them. So here's a really cute little cow creamer. I'm looking for a cow creamer, but I'm looking for one that is vintage. And this one is a modern piece. Uh, so I did not uh, take this one home. And when I, when I come across a vintage cow creamer, I will probably pick that up. So I'm always interested in the white ceramics. I think white goes with everything in your home. And so it can always add a touch of something clean. And pretty here's a really nice little white jar a little heavier than what we're looking for for the tea um, but white always makes a nice accent here's some nice Asian influenced vases chinoiserie is very popular right now so adding a touch of Asian influence would uh, certainly update a lot of spaces pretty much we've seen it I think the rest of it is is just clear glass plain vases bottles things that we're not really looking to pick up today so our next stop is the bargain hut thrift store we're still in Casa Grande so let's see what we can find inside we're getting started uh, lock and bar has already picked up a couple of things he found this cute little enamel teapot, uh, coffee pot, and looks like something that you'd take camping. It would be really fun, I think, with flowers in it uh, or maybe as a little planter for herbs. We found this other teapot that uh, we ended up getting for my mother-in-law. She's starting a teapot collection. That one was super cute. We found uh, several teapots here that we liked and it was kind of hard to choose among them. Um, but we saw some some really pretty little metal and glass candle holders back there that I contemplated. So, of course, anything that has kitty cats has to get looked at. 
Uh, so this was a cute little piece. There was no stamp on the bottom, so nothing. I think it might have been a project piece because there was nothing to identify it at all. Um, or it could have been something mass produced without any label. Uh, but that one was super cute. I thought it kind of had a vintage look to it. So it, it could be that the label was removed. Not really sure about that. I always like to look at stitchery. That was cute in a little Hummel style. That one's a fun one. Um, and then, oh, look at these little ducks. These definitely looked vintage. And then, of course, I had to get uh, Lock and Bar to come take a look at the stamp for me because I didn't have my glasses on and I couldn't see <laughs> what it said. Um, so he was he was trying to make it out. We decided that they were super cute little ducks, and if we collected ducks, we would definitely have taken those home. Uh, and they were they were adorable. So something something cute, a cute little treasure. And so we kind of as we as we were walking through here, we were just looking at all the little little tidbits of things. Um, on the shopping trip, we weren't really looking for anything in particular except, like I said, tea tins. But beyond that, uh, you know, we, we were just kind of seeing what we could see. So this shop had some fun stuff. So over in the linen section, I found this really cute table runner. It had several kinds, different kinds of velvet and some... Uh, satin-like material um, that I thought this would make a really nice runner for my fall decor but also uh, if I decided that I didn't want to use it actually as a table runner I like the different fabrics and I thought I could cut them apart into squares and uh, or other shapes and use them as patches. I also found this really, oh, can, can hang on to it there. I also found this uh, really cool piece of lace. Lock and Var's gonna help me hold it up here. There we go. Um, this crocheted lace, it was a table topper uh, that I can cut up and use in some projects, either in a junk journal or on a piece of upcycled clothing. So it was 75 cents. So that had to come home with me for sure. Our next stop was the Bow Wow Meow Thrift Store. This was in downtown, and the proceeds here go to um, Pinal County's No Kill Shelter. So we're always happy to shop where we can benefit the animals. So, so when we first came in the door, um, there was a whole Christmas in July section that uh, I guess well it's August now but it was it was close to the end of July everything in the Christmas section was half off and so of course we had to take a quick look at all of that stuff and I did have to come home with a few things so I found this really cute little mug this is the same color way that I have another Christmas mug I really enjoy the offbeat Christmas colors like blues and things that um, and pink and in terms of Christmas so I always think that's fun um, so that one came home with me that was um, two dollars to start with so I ended up paying a dollar for it just looking for a place to set it down so we can look at some other things then I found this little glass Christmas tree jar uh, it was marked four dollars so I ended up paying two dollars for that that was super cute I have another one of those at home and I found this stitchery uh, that I ended up paying a dollar and a half for that I can use to upcycle on a piece of clothing. Um, so we found a couple of other things that we're getting as gift items too. So we wanted to leave those off camera. <laughs> uh, as we walked around the store, we were told by the lady that works there that all of the donations um, that are there, 100% of the proceeds go to the animals. And then they also have things that are on consignment like these dishes uh, that are super cool this, that had this whole little thing about the dishes. And they had lots of kind of upscale, fancier things. And the consignment things, half of the proceeds end up going to the animals and half goes to, uh, of course, the original owner. Here's a cute little cat art piece. And of course, I have to look at everything that has cats. Um, so they had some really nice furniture. I'm going to take you over. I want you to see there's a nice piece of uh, carnival glass. Um, I want you to see some of the teacups on this display. They're just gorgeous. And I will show you a teacup uh, later. 
in a little more detail this one that uh, Lock and Bar ended up taking home. It's it's really cool. So you'll see that later on in the haul. And then as we walked around, they had some neat uh, jewelry. Uh, lots, everything here was really displayed beautifully. I love all the colored vases. These were a lot of fun. Um, I want, over here, I want to show you some of the painted glass. There's a beautiful little lane cedar chest. And here there's a display that starts here with some painted glass and over in front of the window. So, of course, the light was streaming through and just lit up all the glass and the colors. It was just beautiful. It was a nice placement. And they had some really cute little figurines with pets, dogs, and cats there. Our last stop of the day was at the Goodwill in Casa Grande. So let's pop in and see what we can find. So this was definitely the coolest thing we saw. It's a pitcher and six cups from um, Mexico. So we flipped the bottom to take a look at the marking uh, and it says Guadalajara Jalisco. And so we did a little bit of research online and determined that these were souvenir pieces. Uh, they are hand painted and you can see some of the slight variations in the painting as we're taking a look at it, especially through the clouds. Um, you can kind of see some of the differences there. So the cups were $2 and the pitcher was 4 So that was kind of a cool find. Hang on and stay tuned for the haul. Okay, so I'm going to show you in a little haul video here what we bought. So this is the Christmas stuff. Now, I think not all of this was half price because we didn't buy it all at the same shop, but almost all of it was half price. I think the only thing that we paid full price for uh, were the, the uh, candle holders here. Um, Lock and Var collects, let me get a close up on this. Lock and Var uh, collects nutcrackers. So when we saw the nutcracker candle holders, we had to have those. They were $4 a piece. Um, everything else was half off, and so uh, I think I showed you the shop where I picked most of this stuff up. This is um, a Santa that you put over like a wine bottle. Uh, you could, you know, put him over um, just a, a stoppered bottle of any kind just to make him stand up. So you could use him. You could put sand in the bottle to weight it and use him like a doorstop um, at Christmas time, or you can use him as part of the display. Um, we need to maybe comb his beard a little bit here and stuff uh you know but so this is just we just got home with these things and i haven't had a chance i haven't taken any of the tags off i haven't um dusted any of them washed them anything like that this kind of thing um we usually kind of hit with a lint roller and a vacuum cleaner that sort of thing just to make sure that uh you know everything is off of it um, you can use a damp rag to clean things that sort of stuff uh, you might hit it with some febreze um, that sort of thing. And then, of course, I showed you this one already in the store, so I'm really happy with that. I can't wait to put that on either an apron or a shirt. Um, I came across one of these a few weeks ago, so I have one of those already. And I really like that it has the bottom and it fits. I'm looking forward to putting, like, gumdrops or some kind of candy or something in that. And then I think I showed you this one as well. So um, next up will be all of the items that are not Christmas except for the clothes and I'm going to show you the clothes last. So okay so you may or may not know that I am obsessed with cream and sugars so I found this set at the Bow Wow Meow thrift shop so eight dollars for the set they're quite beautiful um, this is all it says on the bottom we couldn't find any other mark so I don't know if someone uh, you know just marked it as belonging to somebody in the family um, but maybe when we erase that, we'll be able to see something else under it. I'm not really sure. I couldn't find anything else. Uh, then we picked up a couple of tea canisters, which are really lovely, uh, because we are working on um, kind of a collection of tea canisters. My husband's a tea drinker. He has lots of different kinds of loose leaf tea, and they're in a lot of ugly kind of containers, and so I'm trying to find something pretty to put them in. Um, to that end too, he bought this beautiful cup and saucer. This is probably the most expensive thing we bought today. So it's just gorgeous, the color. Let me show you this saucer. And here's that back stamp. So just love this. And then we picked up this. 
this teapot, which is a tea infuser. You put the tea in it and just put the water in and let it infuse, and then you can pour through and, and use your loose leaf tea. And then we bought this other teapot um, for my mother-in-law, who is starting a collection of decorative teapots, and she really liked that one, so we picked that one up for her. Uh, you'll also notice that we have uh, the piece of lace that I showed you um, in the store, and the, uh, the runner is laid out here that I showed you as well. So I'll be right back to show you the clothes, which is probably the biggest part of it, the whole haul. <laughs> so here are some of the things I bought to cut up. Now a couple of these are my size, so I'll probably try them on before I start cutting. But most of them are smaller, um, a good deal smaller. There's several size small things that will not fit me that I bought solely for the lace. So I'm going to show you this one. These, remember, were all $2. Everything um, at the Salvation Army store. When we got there today, we did not know that the sale was going on, but every piece of clothing was $2. It didn't matter what it was. So when I look at the amount of lace that is available on something like this that I can uh, cut up and make something else out of, um, I think it's worth spending the $2 and saving it from the landfill. Um, because I think when they get down to the, you know, it's two dollars left, then you know, there's there's just not a whole lot more that they're going to do with them. They're going to they're going to go away pretty soon. Um, so this one is beautiful. I just love this piece of lace, this panel in the front. So can't wait to cut that up. Um, again, here's one. This is too small for me, but it's a really lovely lovely piece of lace. These are all lace overlays, so you can see um, what the lace actually looks like without the t-shirt behind it. This one again. I think I showed you a couple of these in the shop. Um, this one has some really interesting buttons. So I think the buttons are kind of cool. And it, this one has different lace on the back. And then this one as well with the large flowers. Those would be um, kind of expensive to buy as appliques, so I thought that was a good buy. All right, so let me get some other things and show you some things that I bought for other people. Okay, so this one is an oversized shirt. It's Pioneer Woman, um, and this has embroidery down the front. I just thought it was really cute. Uh, it's too big for the person I bought it for but I thought it might make a nice, a nice jacket-y kind of shirt. Um, and if the person doesn't want it, then I will take it and probably do some stuff to the back and, and maybe, um, you know, splatter it with some bleach and stuff and make it a little more interesting. Uh, but it's really pretty and it's very soft and it's a nice fabric. I also bought this one as a gift. So I thought it was cute. It's got a high-low, a little longer in back. Um, it's got that really pretty print with some... Uh, bit of bling on it. That one was super cute, I thought. Here's a denim -y, uh, shirt that I bought. It's a camp shirt. It's a little oversized too, um, but I thought that one's probably going to get upcycled for sure. It's probably going to get some lace and some things on it um, before that one gets passed along. Maybe as, maybe as a gift uh, for Christmas or, or, you know, maybe just, maybe I'll do it in fall and, and give it as a, you know, a happy fall kind of thing. And then there's this really pretty uh, t-shirt print that I thought uh, I thought a family member would really enjoy so I've got that I also bought a couple of jeans pairs of jeans for my daughter um, they're really nothing you know spectacular to show they're just they're just plain jeans that I'm going to going to uh, upcycle and for her I also bought should have hung this up I also bought this really cute uh, cropped flannel shirt so I, I think she's looking forward to that so here's the part where I'm going to show you the stuff that I bought for myself mostly and it could be things that I might upcycle um, I haven't tried any of it on the only thing I tried on was a jacket which you saw earlier in the video uh, but the rest of it is stuff that's generally my size if it's a little small I might add a, a panel to it um, through the bust or the side if it's a little big it might need some darts or an extra seam, uh, something like that. So I, I just bought things that I thought I would really like because there really wasn't a place to try anything on. And like I said, everything was $2. So I thought for $2, it was worth the risk. I could either fix it 
or I could give it to somebody else in the family, or I could uh, cut it up for the, the pattern, the design, the color, whatever. Um, so all of these things are things that um, may need some work or they may be okay the way they are. So let me just kind of start out and show you. So this one and this one both are um, actually Lucky Brand uh, pieces of clothing. So $2 is a steal um, for that. So here's a nice Sonoma uh, plaid shirt. I have several plaid shirts, but I don't have anything in a pink colorway, and I really love this. Um, so I'm not really sure, honestly, whether I'm going to keep this one or I might send it to my daughter because she loves pink too. It is a 1X, which means it's going to be a little oversized, but that's okay because it's a flannel shirt. And often I wear those over t-shirts in the summer, or in the summertime, in the wintertime or the fall. Um, this is the only jacket uh, that I found, and I did try it on. I think you saw that earlier in the video, and I fell in love with that. And it's kind of, um, it. at first I thought it was like a really thin whale corduroy, but I think it's more of a velvet. I don't think it even has the, the whales on it. So it's really cute, though, like that one. So this one, I know, some people are going to be like, oh, my God, what did you buy? Um... I think this one is going to be way too big, and it's probably going to need some darts. Although there are there are some darts in the in the chest area, and it kind of flounces out. So I am a graduate of the University of Tennessee, and I am always on the lookout for something that's really cool that's orange. So I'm thinking I might fit this one a little bit, tailor it a little bit, and then put like a big UT on the back in some funky funky fabric. Maybe that might be fun. This one is Halloween and I fell in love with it. It's got really cute little details. Right? So adorable. So adorable. Um, and I thought I might actually do a little more to it. I might add some stuff to it because, you know, too much is not enough. At least for me. Okay. I, I don't know what happened to my camera. It just kind of shut down on me. So hopefully... Hopefully that showed up. Uh, again, this one um, might be a little big. I don't know. It's marked a 2X, but sometimes in the imported sizes, that really equals more like an extra large. Um, so I fell in love with this up here, this, this netting and embroidery. So I thought the worst case scenario, I would cut that off and use that. And then here is something, of course, that is lace. Very much like some of the lace stuff I showed you. Um, but it is closer to my size, so I am going to try that on before I decide whether or not to cut it up. This one, too. I really love the lace on the neckline here. It has some cute sleeves to it. Uh, it's very soft, so hopefully it will fit. The, the tag is completely gone, so I don't know what brand or what size. Um, it just looked flowy and loose, and so again, if I need to put a dart or two in it through the, through the bust area, I can do that. And then the last one is this one. Again, just a super cute, lightweight t-shirt. I love the fringy bottom here. And then this lace on the top. So I'm hoping these things um, look good on. If they don't, of, of course, I can try to fix them. But anyway, I hope you have enjoyed shopping with me today. I sure had a really great time. So thrifting is one of my favorite things to do, especially when I come across a bargain like $2 clothes. So until next time, remember, use what you have or go get at the thrift store to make your life more beautiful. Bye.